the profile of a person capable of mass murder. FBI teams track characteristics and behaviors of past active shooters. Now, their report matches up with almost everything we know about the 18-year-old suspect. Way 31's Matt Kroschel joins us now. He spoke with a law enforcement expert who is familiar with the FBI profiling and how it can be applied to help officials intervene before an attack is carried out. And Dan, most shooters have things in common and their social media often an insight into their spiral downward towards violence. In this Texas shooting, the 18-year-old had recently purchased firearms, was isolated and said to be bullied at school, had some issues at home too. These are just some of the red flags that law enforcement tell us they are looking for. And a former prosecutor and law enforcement expert, Jay Town here in Huntsville, says this FBI profile, originally created in 2017 and updated each year, is a valuable tool that needs to be put into action to stop attacks. And a lot of those clues can be found online in the days, weeks, and months before an attack takes place. When you think about Texas, when you think about Buffalo, when you think about the New York subway, or really any of these subway shooters, all of these digital crumbs are left behind uh, that, that we can, as law enforcement, if we found an intelligent way uh, to collect those digital crumbs, we would actually be able to predict, even prevent some of these active shooter events because they just have so many things in common. The FBI pointing out almost all active shooters are almost always male, aged 18 to 50. The FBI profile offers even more insights into some of those common threads and lots of those shooters share those. Town says we are all responsible for helping to spot changes in personality, increase violence and social media posts and letting law enforcement know so they can make sure that these people are okay. I'm Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News.